So what, what are you showing yeah, me right yeah, now? We're doing this, we're using we this secret sauce. We're not going to tell you what it is, you know, but this is the secret Super Saiyan sauce. Yeah, and I'm fucking, I'm yeah, just kidding. It gets your hair sticking up. It's like fucking Viagra for your yeah. fucking hair, bro. You're showing me how to be a trendsetter. Yeah, bro. So I'm going to fucking do it. I'm just full sending it. I got the merch. Trendsetter yeah. merch, too. Look at that. Dawson repping the merch, bro. Look at that. Yeah, they're out of stock right now, but I mean, soon, bro. Soon restock. You just fucking throw a little bit in there, you know, mix it up. Just throw it in the hair. It helps you retain the shape, you know. Gives it some fucking volume. Shit, bitches love some good volume, bro. Good shit, man. Hell yeah. Christian, you gonna throw some in? Yeah, I did. How's it look, Chris? Yeah. How's, how's your hair feeling? Looks badass. Yeah? That's it. Yeah, John's just showing me how to do it. So, if oh, you guys, my man if you guys want any Stacy's, this is a good way to go. Try it out, you know? Silver or gold, bro? Uh, gold. Gold's my color. Mm -hmm. Nice. He's facing the right way. Oh, damn, this guy's got some big old HGH wrist. I do, huh? Shit's tight. Some rich piano. Yeah. Look at that. Fucking That's badass. Snake. John's mm -hmm. fucking hooking me up. Kinda looks like John now. I know, I, I feel like John right now. I feel like John Skywalker. He's just two inches shorter. This one too. You can have one of these. This is the Guardian Angel one. I feel honored for this. Is that? Yeah, it's the Archangel. Guardian Archangel. Michelangelo. I mean, not Michelangelo. The, what's his name? Yeah, it is Michelangelo, right? Yeah. Right? Michael, the Arch. Yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah. Michael. Pretty badass one. Yeah, yeah, very nice, bro. Thanks yeah. for repping, bro. Of course. Fucking legit. We were talking about cooking steroids and fucking <laughs> starting up a clinic, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know what we can have in the vlog. You know, I don't know if you're, if you have a clinic, I don't know if you're allowed to cook your own shit, is it? I, I would be, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty happy. Or do you get it from like yeah, the government or something? Because it's like, because if you're a pharmaceutical company, it's not like you can just cook your own like Yeah, I think pills they have a way to go around it. Yeah, we need to start a clinic so that way we can start promoting steroids, not just protein powder, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gotta make Let's steroids go, mainstream, you know, but the right way. Yeah, dude, because, well, okay, put it this way. <clears throat> look at all these families, right? Look at all these... <laughs> look at all these... <laughs> look at all these fucking families where, like, they're, like, broken homes and shit like that. And where the, one of the main issues is that the, they don't know how to balance the feminine, masculine shit. That's the problem in America. That's why the divorce rates are like 70%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because really feminine men. Yeah, well, because their testosterone is low and the women, their testosterone is extra high because of all the fucking progesterone and stuff like that in our food and shit. And, the and they have to take different roles now. They have to take more of an aggressive role in society. Yeah, because all the men are betas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can't yeah. blame them for being like that because, dude. So they have to be breadwinners too. Yeah, man, because yeah. The, the, if... If you're a woman, you know what I'm saying, and you're living in a society where there's so much divorce and stuff, you can't really put all your fucking eggs into one basket, you know what I'm saying, literally, you know what I mean? That's why they're getting plowed by all the one percenters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then the, the one percenters don't want them, and then once they get yeah. old, eventually they settle down with some average Joe. You know what I mean? And that circles want to be with. back though to why the average Joe doesn't need to worry about having fucking kids or doing any of that bullshit till they get jacked and juicy and super fucking successful. You know, that's yeah. why steroids, you know, right now is it's a go bro in our society. Like, what do you think about when dudes are like, nah, dude, steroids just attract other men? Do you think that's true or no? Nah? I don't really think I don't that's think true. So, man. I, I felt like I've only ever I've heard natural people say that shit. Yeah, if you're since I've been on steroids, I'm not saying this just to say this. My sec, I, I was a pretty attractive dude when I was younger, you know. But ever since I've been on gear, it's only went up as time has gone along. For real, from women, it's not gone down anyway. Before shape steroids, my body count was zero, bro. Now I've smashed a couple of hundred girls actually. Yeah, he's most he's of them are Tinder chicks. You know what I'm saying? So Tinder chicks. That's how he smashed a lot of fucking five out of tens these days. I don't know about sometimes that. Sometimes that's what's, you know, sometimes those are the hardest workers, bro. Oh, if smash a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, they're going to make you take you on a date and fucking conversations, yeah. all this shit. I think the perfect is like a 7 and a half. But if you smash a fucking 5 out of 10, bro, dude, they'll like, they'll do all your, they'll clean the fucking place, you know what I'm saying? They'll suck you off for five hours, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit, you know, a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, they're going to lay there and look real pretty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they're going to go out somewhere, like a pool party, and get fucked. Well, go all bitches else. are always getting fucked everywhere. And yeah. Even even the ugly bro, the Everyone. ugliest chicks have the highest body counts because they need the validation the most. You know what I'm saying? 
So they'd be smashing all types of fucking... People always say... I mean, girls will argue. They're like, for men and women, it's the same. But that's not true because as a guy, like, you fuck who you can. You know what I'm saying? For women, you fuck... They can fuck whoever they want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, a super ugly chick will be able to smash, like, any dude that they want. You know, because for a guy, it's just like a fucking, you know... The women don't pass. need to work for it. You can be a 5 out of 10 girl and, you know, have a nice ass 6 out of 10. You know, most men... Most a lot of guys will still fuck her, but you're let's say you're a nine out of ten dude, or you're a pretty good looking dude, but you don't have a lot of money or fame, or mm-hmm. just in general, just being a man in general. You you walk up to ten women, hey, you want to fuck? They're all gonna say no right away. A, a hot girl walks up to ten dudes, hey, you want to fuck? <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten of them are gonna be like, yo, ten out of ten. smash, yeah, smash some. Uh, I don't want to like smash some. Big ass. They do some fat whales, man. But I mean, you can cut that out. Hey, that's you're hitting that. Like two or three of them before. Damn. Damn, bros. You know, you're a pioneer. Well, because bro, I was. I used to kind of be fat phobic. You know what I'm saying? I had to overcome my fear. And when you have a sexual experience with one of these women, you know, it helps you understand the world from their perspective. It helps you understand that they're humans too. Fat mm-hmm. people. They have feelings. And now I'm not fat phobic anymore. Yeah. That's yeah. fucked. That's, yeah. that's actually a way to <laughs> that. spiritual awakening. Oh, damn, dude. Like these, these people exist. Some of them have pretty ass faces, too. Some of these fat chicks, you know? Yeah. They just need someone to invest some time into them, you know what I'm saying? And fucking, you know, teach them how to fucking eat right. You know? The so long run. Healthy meals, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, I don't really, haven't really banged any girls over 250 pounds. Yes. Yeah. What about 200 pounds plus? Um, I think I might have did one when I was like 17. Nice, nice. I was in a year dry you spell. Know how it feels, bro. I was in yeah. a very long dry spell, and I just got out of a long relationship, super toxic. Yeah. And I was just like, she was sending me shit. And what ethnicity was she? She was Mexican. Mm, and I was like, Latina. I wasn't even really that good with women at this time. I just said, fuck it, like. Why not? But then I kind of like felt good, but after I was like kind of like regretted it. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> touch a fat bitch. I'm sorry. She wasn't like that. Yeah, but 200 pounds? See, that's yeah. just that's too discriminatory, bro. I can't roll with that. That's that's some Fuck. hateful energy, bro. No I standards, know. morals. No man. Maybe Chris, you just have to try it one day. Well, maybe I have to overcome my fear. When it comes to girls, the only thing that matters is the personality, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Personality. Mm-hmm. Personality. Personality. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Is, dude, I need a fucking hat. And then every once in a while, cherry Pepsi. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. dude. Well, because this is for the insulin spike, bro. Yeah, we need an insulin spike because we might be going bowling or fucking playing some games. I don't know what yeah, we're going to do. We're going to need a little pump. Yeah, we're going to do a little yeah, energy we, shot here. We were going to go to the fucking gym, but, you know, we're going to do something a little more, like, chill. Yeah, yeah, I was like, hey, John, I just hit him up. And, of course, like, usually he always responds, like, just like that. You know? I was, I was so asleep, I with him. I woke him up. I was asleep, bro. I, I was like, up. shit. And then I was like, hey, let's get a chest, filthy chest pump. And he's like, okay, yeah. Whatever, and then he hits me out like 20 minutes later, like, hey man, let's just fucking be down to go to Dave and Buster's or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, something chill. Hang out, yeah. you know, talk a little bit so yeah. we're not like, you know, rushing through work. I think this is good though, because it's like, this is more mm-hmm. what people want, need to see. Yeah. They want to see it. Chill stuff. Yeah. Mix it up. Dude, it's crazy because a lot of those pros, no one remembers their names anymore, you know what I'm oh, saying? And I used to watch you when I was like 17, 18. That's nice. I would watch bro. your shit, like your yeah. workout videos, <sighs> fucking transformations. We were like, how old was I at that time? You, how old? I'm 23, so you were probably so in six six early 20s. Yeah, 22. Yeah, you were 23. like the only yeah. dude posting steroid shit or anything. Like you'd be, I remember the photo when you're like, you got like the Milano tan and you're like yeah. sticking in your stomach on the sidewalk or you're sitting down that. on the curb. Yeah. yeah, you got your weed, you got your like bag of weed in your car or like next to your car. You got yeah, now, and bro, back then people yeah. didn't even really post weed. No, they now didn't. everyone's like, you, you know, were posting we're all this shit. Up. Yeah, back, yeah, well, I just feel like it's good to break the mold sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone's like, they were like, okay, well, you know, we're all portraying this, like, you know, oh, you know, I'm like uh, genetically superior. I'm so much harder working than everybody else. And that yeah. was like, oh, and for me coming from outside of that, I was like, dude, I don't want other people to feel the way that I felt, like that there's this community of people that's like, oh yeah, we're like better than you, you know, sucker cock, stand in line to see us. I was like, no dude, anyone can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? If someone's doing that shit, then why shouldn't it be you? Why shouldn't it be me? Why shouldn't it be you? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the mentality that you have to have. You want to be a doer, not a viewer. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, so after you fucking watch this video, get off your fucking ass and do something productive for your life. You know, chase a passion. Yeah. Could have said it any better. Oh, yeah. But get now there's ass. a new mold that needs to be broken. You know what I'm saying? Because now everyone's kind of doing the, I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So Yeah. You always want to be on the frontier of it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're directing the flow in a certain way, that's how you're going to be able to make the biggest difference. You mm -hmm. know, because not everyone's doing that shit. That's why I want to change my brand more too. To be I was more, kind of going the same way. Yeah. I've been, I've been going the same way. I know. Way. I've seen it. But it, yeah. the thing is that we're... We're, we're, it's not naturally in our no. in, in our nature, you know, because we it's are not. kind of troublemakers, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, it, it's not naturally in our nature to do that shit. So yeah. it's like, we kind of have to figure out what this next step is and then it'll flow naturally through yeah. our social media. We and have to just yeah. get used to it more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a work in progress. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah, I was just, I'm definitely a troublemaker on that side. I mean, we can still have our mischievous times, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, but the wisdom over time yeah. comes with it, changes you. Yeah, and now too many people are focused on the aspect of social media where it's like they don't care about anything and they're gonna do, you know it's like oh I'm gonna do whatever I want you know there's there's no um there's no uh what is, what is that word it's it's like commitment but it's like integrity you know, when you're not not really integrity but it's more like a discipline discipline is the word we're looking for there's not enough discipline in the fitness industry you know now there's too much of the do whatever you want don't yeah. don't listen to anyone challenge everything but you know it takes a lot of discipline to be successful no matter what you're doing even if you're chasing what you like you know and it's uh, against the grain or whatever the fuck you still need discipline and that message isn't spread enough yeah, I agree. and that's another one that you could tie into your social media channel because you're focusing on bodybuilding instead of just the entertainment side of things yeah. you know what i'm saying you're not like oh hey you know look at me oh, you know i'm funny blah, blah, blah. i mean that's cool and you can still do that through mm -hmm. your stuff but it's like you know it's important to have that type of structure to like the message that you're giving at least i think you know what i'm saying no, it is it's good to especially for the longevity of your brand you know what i'm saying if you want to stay relevant for a long time you need to impact people's lives in a positive way that you know i think it's good to have a bit of balance bro damn yeah. You gotta have some fucking balance because if you don't have balance, people like the funny shit. Yeah. They want you to be funny. They're like, yeah, Man, we want you to be fucking funny. Yeah. That's what gets views. So you gotta have a balance. But look at, the, yeah, because look at the, you know, those, the, what are those guys that eat food on fucking, do you see that guy that got super fat? You know what I'm saying? I yeah, I the, there's videos of this guy, you know what I'm saying? Start off super fucking skinny, ended up getting super <coughs> fat. And so did his, the homie that he was making videos with. And they're, now all their videos, they're like crying. They're fat as shit. They're like, you ruined my life. Bro. You know, it's, dude, it's fucking, it's pretty depressing. So it's about balance. You know, it's about, you know, knowing, uh, like, cause the people, they want to see crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing crazy shit, like eating like thousands of calories of fucking fast food, you know, if you're, you know, doing too many drugs, steroids, you know what I'm saying? Anything like wildish, outlandish, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can, <laughs> you, could, yeah. you could do yeah. some steroids balance. you yeah. could do some fucking drugs yeah. but have some balance motherfucker well but the thing is that some uh, you don't know how that message is going to hit some people though you know what I'm saying yeah never mind some, don't yeah. do drugs yeah. <coughs> only do steroids cause then yeah cause you have some people out there that don't really have father figures and shit like that and yeah. they're, they're looking to us dude we're just a couple of you know guys you know what I'm saying bro I started social media I was 18, 19 smoking cigarettes you know open yeah. about stories like dude i didn't need people to i didn't think that i was going to be in a place where people are looking at you almost like a father figure like you know a role model you know that's why my profile says ain't no role model bro because you know it's like that's what i say i never want to always say that too yeah, i'm not bro. i'm not a role model yeah man good I've shit well i mean jay that. cool said it first man yeah jay yeah. cool no no role it's funny models, we both went down yeah. the same path because yeah. i didn't think i was going to blow up either i didn't even want to i was coming at people like I was just being a kind of a asshole. Like, I was just coming at people like, "Fuck it, I don't give a fuck." Like, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about you. Like mm -hmm. all this kind of shit. Mm -hmm. I was kind of shitting on people. Yeah, like, left and right, and people just mm -hmm. got to love me. Yeah, over but that's the message that's resonating with them. It's like a, a message where it's kind of negativity. Like, yeah, it's like wah, wah, wah. you know. There's a lot of ways that we. But we just need to. I'm, I need to figure out how to do that too. Like how to uplift people. I'm still. Hey man, I'm still learning. Too. Last night I was thinking about that actually, bro. You know, and I was thinking I was like, dude, it could be as simple as whenever you're on social media about to make a post, and then be like, damn, this is gonna be a message of love. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever you're about to say, if you're mad about something, you're like, yo, I'm really mad about this certain thing that just happened. But you know what? I'm going to be patient about it. I'm going to be you know, thankful for the good things that I do have. Always try to think of whatever message you're going to say and try to be like, oh, how do I put it in a frequency of love? Yeah. Yeah, man. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think the content creator, you got to think about what you're posting. I used to just kind of grab the camera and say whatever the fuck I wanted. I still do that sometimes. Well, bro, I dude, think. when I was your I age, think, bro, bro, dude, I, you know, I, there was, I wasn't thinking at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was just fucking, you know, I'd be like, do I party fucking days and days and days? Yeah. Nine days in a row, bro. I slept maybe like two of those nights, bro. Yeah, this is like a fucking podcast almost. guess you know like think about what you're doing don't just mindfulness don't just yeah. fucking wake up or it's nine o'clock you're ready to go to bed or like 12 i mean i gotta jerk off like think about why you're doing the things you do and are you happy with what you're doing is it being well spent or are you just wasting fucking time because you know you're not doing what you need to do mm. that's the motto of it okay you know what the, I mean? but then i'm sure people waste a lot more time browsing social media than they do jerking off you know what I'm yeah but then because yeah, the, people that, probably waste that, it just does i'm not just saying they have to apply off. it towards like all the other aspects yeah because yeah like because you know the average kid probably spends like you know how like an hour a day jerking off how much yeah. how much yeah. so, like, that's a lot of time you know he's 30 bro i'll be like watching yeah. the vr porn dude that takes a while 
on the load, dude. <laughs> but, yeah. It's some yeah. freaky shit. No, yeah, yeah it's, dude, kink, it's some kinky shit, man. But it, if that applies to everything, not just, you know, like yeah, pornography. Yeah, you gotta take time off Facebook, too, you know. People will be browsing that shit. Well, Instagram. Some old heads. Yeah. John's that getting, was, that, John's that was what old. they said back in the day. Well, okay, now it's like fucking TikTok and Instagram, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You gotta, yeah. people will be browsing the walls, you know what I'm saying, the Facebook wall. So the overall message is fucking think about what you're doing in general and like, man, ask yourself, are you who you want to be and is this helping you get there? Yeah. But if it's not, really think about why you're doing it. Like think, that's a what I do. A good way to keep track of that and actually think of that process out is keeping a diary. Yeah. A diary. Yeah, I mean, man. that could work. Yeah. Or a journal, however you want notes, to phrase write, it. Notes, write your notes, write yeah, daily yeah. affirmations. I love that shit. Well, and write your plans where you're at in life and some short term goals, long term goals, you know, plan it out the next week, the next month, the next year. Yeah, write that shit down. So, you know, you're looking at it, you think it up through, like, clearly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, fuck. I think that fucking sums it up. We've talked about a lot of shit. To take the day yeah. off, Christian. Yeah. What up, bro? Yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time with John. He's a fucking badass guy. I like getting to know him even more. Um, but yeah, I hope this is a little fun video. It's something different. But yeah, until next time. Peace.